the ben Denton Vacuum Benchtop Turbo uh, uses a turbo molecular pump. I have a ATP 100 turbo pump under the system, which is uh, also supported by a four line mechanical pump. Uh, the turbo controller ACT 200D is driving the turbo molecular pumps and is at full speed 27,083 rotations per minute. The operation is simple. Uh, these buttons, uh, the pump switch starts both the mechanical pump and the turbo pump. First the mechanical pump starts and uh, once the the chamber vacuum, the TC set point uh, reaches 100 millitor, which is adjustable by the operator. Uh, default setting is uh, 450 millitor, but it is safe to start the turbo at 100 millitor. So when the when the mechanical pump roughs down the chamber under 100 millitor, then after a time delay of about a minute, the turbo controller will kick in the turbo molecular pump will be started. We we'll start first with the accelerating the turbo pump and then once it is reaches the full speed the green LED will be on. Uh, these indications are disabled because I'm using a standalone turbo pump controller. The rotation button will uh, start the sample stage rotation and it's rotating right now and the chamber vacuum is monitored by a cold cathode sensor it's, it's pretty stable even while this, the rotation is going on the gas valve will enable to input gas to the chamber uh, gas valve is enabled normally in glow discharge mode and as soon as the gas valve is turned on the turbo molecular pump will turn off and the needle valve here is to be adjusted to, to the desired set point pressure for the glow discharge So when the gas valve is pressed and the gas is properly hooked up, then by adjusting the needle valve, the pressure can be obtained. About 50 to 100 millitor pressure, the glow discharge will be enabled. So once you turn off the gas valve, the turbo monocular pump will be again starting from acceleration. Uh, it's safer to have a one minute delay on the turbo controller to protect the turbo from pumping down from a higher pressure value. The filament one will turn on the evaporation filament installed in the system and the filament power is adjustable using this knob and you can slowly ramp it up to maximum 10 amperes right now I don't have any material in the filament, I'm just demonstrating the, the filament starting to glow. In the filament 2, there's a second filament installed. And
the filament starts. I'm going to turn off the pumping and vent the chamber and as soon as we turn off the pumping the turbomolecular pump will be stopped and the vent valve will open after about 500 seconds and there's a timer built-in timer which will enable the the deceleration of the turbo pump and once the turbo pump starts decelerating uh, after the countdown the vent valve will, will open and will enable the user to open the bell jar. Right now the vent is in progress. The turbo pump speed is coming down from the full speed down to zero. A second. Let me open it. Loosen it up. Okay. The shutter is controlled by the knob on the left. And it's important to make sure that the shutter will not touch the electrode beams. Uh, the filament is held by these two isolated electrodes. Uh, filament 2 here and filament 1 here. And these two are high voltage uh, electrodes for the glow discharge. The material to be evaporated is being charged into the heater elements. elements. Now we are going to close the bell jar slowly. Uh, make sure that you lower it not sitting on any feed throughs. So once the bell jar is down, press the pump button and when you attempt to lift the bell jar, it should not come off. I have, uh, we can adjust the set point to any number, 200 or 100 millicore. And as soon as the actual vacuum level reaches the set point, the Arcatel turbo pump controller will start to accelerate. There's a start time delay of one minute. So that will help 
the turbo controller to wait till the pressure low was a little better than the set point. Now the turbo pump just started to accelerate and speeding up. The, the vacuum levels and the filament current monitoring signals are interfaced to this logic board. The solenoid valve commands or routed through these solid state relays. And the mechanical pump is visible. And the turbo molecular pump is on this side of the chamber. And here is the cold cathode vacuum sensor. So we can notice as the turbo accelerates, the, the pumping is accelerated and the system is going to be in 10 to the minus 5 range and pretty soon, you know, under 5 to 10 minutes. So the, the reading is from the cold cathode sensor. So right now the glow discharge is on at a pressure level of about 140 millitor and turn off the glow discharge, turn it on and I turn on the gas, uh, argon gas is, is connected and at about 10 to 15 psi pressure. So I'm turning on the filament, one, and the filament one is on now. aluminum started to melt. I'm going to start the filament too. 